Hey, what's going on? Victor Adetiba with ScrumLife.com. Go ahead and give us a like, comment, and a subscribe. Head on over to our ScrumLife.com website, and you'll see a lot of content about Scrum and Agile. So today I got a couple of videos shared with me from some of my students, and I wanted to give you guys my thoughts, my reactions. And so these videos come from uh, Mike Cohn with Mountain Goat Software. Um, he's got a great YouTube channel, very world-renowned figure in the Agile space. So if you guys aren't familiar with him, I advise you to go ahead and go uh, subscribe to his YouTube channel, as well as hit his mountaingoatsoftware.com website. Um, he's got a lot of training and different workshops on here. Uh, one that I suggest all my students go to is his user stories and story writing training. So uh, before we get into this video, this video is sponsored by Mansa Tech Training Academy. Uh, you can go to academy.mansatech.com and find a little bit more information in the description. But Mansa Tech helps professionals transition into careers in technology through training, coaching, workshops, and mentorship. Uh, students have received over $25 million in job offers and counting. So head on over to academy.mansatech.com to see how you can transition to a career in Agile. And with that, let's get to the video. It's titled, Is Scrum Still Relevant in 2024? It's 2024. Is Scrum still relevant? Yes, I think it is. I still think Scrum is the best Agile framework with which to start. It's sufficiently lightweight that it doesn't have to be a burden. Yet, there's enough to Scrum that it provides the rules teams new to Agile need to succeed. For this reason, I think Scrum could very well be relevant for another 20 or perhaps more years. It's a lightweight framework that can serve as the basis for a team experimenting with its own methodology. I do, however, think we're reaching a point I've anticipated for years. Agile is becoming the norm, at least for software development. As that happens, we'll no longer need to talk about Agile software development. It will just be software development. We're not there yet, but we get closer all the time. It's 2024. Yeah, uh, I definitely agree with that. There are a lot of organizations that have kind of just ingrained agile or scrum practices into the way that they work. And um, I think that for a lot of organizations, and we've seen it with, you know, the layoffs here recently, that a lot of organizations feel like they have embedded enough scrum into the team. And so um, they have been able to do it. They believe in it. They trust it. And so they want to move forward. But um, sometimes they don't necessarily feel, and that's going to kind of lead us into our next video that we'll talk about uh, in the next video. Um, but a lot of organizations feel like we've got it. We understand it. It is now a part of us. And maybe we no longer need a dedicated scrum master um, for the team. But uh, all in all, I agree with uh, Mike. Um, I believe Scrum is here uh, for the foreseeable future and that more and more organizations will continue to embrace um, agile practices and the way Scrum teams work. I think you can see it with um, the PMI ACP, which is the uh, Project Management Institute's um, Agile Practitioner Certification. Um, you know, for a long time, uh, they were the... I guess you could say um, protectors of all things waterfall, if you will. And so seeing them create a brand new certification um, for Agile and even speaking to some people who have taken the PMP certification within the last couple of years, uh, a lot of what I've heard is that like something like 50% of the uh, new project management exam is heavily, heavily focused on uh, Agile ways of working in Scrum. So. Um, we can definitely see it becoming more and more mainstream. And so I think uh, it's important that we as the uh, practicers um, of Agile or the, um, um, the ones who are working to help teams uh, continuously improve in the way uh, that they implement uh, Scrum and Agile, um, the onus is on us to also improve our practices as well and our understanding of it and the way that, uh, or the ways that we can help teams, organizations, and products deliver even more value. All right, guys, that's it. 
Um, stay tuned. I'll see you in the next video. Uh, again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.